Hello Dragon Gate Network, welcome back to our series where we take a look at some of the more famous or infamous matches in Dragon Gate and Torimon Japan history. Today we are going back to November 1st, 2015 at Edion Arena Osaka, the Gate of Destiny 2015, the Open the Dream Gate Championship match. The champion at that time, Shingo Takagi, the challenger, was this gentleman, Masaki Mochizuki. We are heading into Mochi's 30th anniversary year, and we have got a special match coming up on January 10th, 2023, where he is going to have a rematch with Shingo Takagi, so we thought that this would be a good time to bring this match back around. This is, at least from an international fan standpoint, considered to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Open the Dream Gate Championship match of all time. So, Mochi-san. Oh, well, 30年ぶりとか。ああ、あの、この、この試合は海外にあの、ベストバウト級がご存知ですか。ああ、なんかあの、非常に評価されたみたいで、で、この前もアメリカ行った時にあの、再開やってたら。2015年の高木との so he says that uh, I asked him if he knew that if international fans rated this match so highly, and he says, yeah, sometimes when he's, there's been times where he's overseas meeting fans, signing autographs, where they, the match actually comes up as one of their favorite matches of all time. So it does have the feeling that uh, fans all over the world know this match and like this match. まあ、あの試合の時もね、もうすでに at 45 years old to be able to compete, first to just be competing for a championship at all, or to be competing at such a high level and have such a memorable match, obviously makes it very memorable for everybody. それが34歳なんですよ。34歳。で、最後が47歳で取ったっていうね。だから、なんでしょうね。うん。やっぱり通りあの時ドラゴンゲートはみんな20代。そうですね。団体の一番年上。うん、ずっとね、最年長でいて
でもね本当はあの高木との試合は自分の中で何が一番良かったかっていうと周りの期待感が薄かったんですね、はい、だけどなんかそれを覆せたことがまあ期待が薄かったからこそ偉人にもなれたしで負けたけども、まあ、それだけの試合ができて。いろんな人に認めてもらえた試合になったっていうのがすごく嬉しかった試合でしたね、あれは。Are you saying that,、uh, in, in terms of that match specifically, that you know, maybe the expectations for him to win or the expectations for having a great match weren't necessarily there, but to go out and prove it and have it be recognized around the world makes it very important to match to him? そうですね、まあ、高木も離れて5年ぐらい経つんですかね、うんまあ、新日本でね、うん、IWGP の世界ヘビーチャンピオンまでなってますから、MVP を取っ,、はい、ってますから、はい、もちろん、とてつもない強敵だと思う。思いますけどまあ自分がねまあ,あのコラケンでも言ったんですけど自分はまだまだ今年になってもやっぱりトップを決めるとも諦められない往生際の悪い男なんで、うん、やっぱり高木というね強敵を相手にしてこの先まだまだ自分がやれるのか叩き潰されるのか、うん、一番いい答えが出せる試合になるんじゃないかなと。So, for the, the match coming up in January, I don't know, fans, when you're going to be watching this. We're recording this before the match happens. You might be watching this long after the match happens. But for his 30th anniversary match with Shingo, you know, as long as he's wrestling, as long as he's in the ring, he's going to be aiming to become champion. He's going to be aiming to be at the top of the Dragon Gate. And Shingo, in the five years since he's left Dragon Gate, he's been the IWGP champion. He's won the MVP. He's racked up accolades outside of Dragon Gate. He's, now he's coming in as a formidable outside foe. And Mochizuki Mon, Mochi wants to show him that、uh, there's still a lot left here in Dragon Gate. Hello, Dragon Gate Network. Welcome back to our series where we take a look at some of the more famous or infamous matches in Dragon Gate and Torimon Japan history. Today we are going back to November 1st, 2015. Open the Dream Gate Championship on the line at the Gate of Destiny. There is the challenger, Misaki Mochizuki. 46 years of age at that time. And his opponent at the time, the 22nd Open the Dream Gate Champion. Representing Berserk, Shingo Takagi. My name is Jay, and I am joined today by another Jay, Jason Lee. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Jason Lee. He is here. So, have you ever seen this match before? No, this is my first time. First time seeing it. Okay. So, so, yeah. so, we are doing this match for two reasons. One, because, at least in, from an international perspective, this is possibly、okay. the most famous、uh. Open the Dream Gate Championship match、Ooh. of all time. And number two, because this match is going to happen, we're recording this. On December 23rd, 2003, in about three、yep. weeks, these two are going to fight again to celebrate Mochizuki's 30th、30. anniversary. Yeah. So let's. As This should be exciting, though. You know, like. Well. <laughs> it's been a long time, actually. Like. So I, I was at this show. If the camera pans this back. Show? If, the, if the camera pans back far enough, as. <laughs> Mochizuki hits the camera up. Oh. Right from the start. A little, wow. bit, a little bit of background on this. So at this point, Shingo、yep. was part of a group called Verserk. Verserk. Verserk,、yep. which was a group which eventually became Antius, which became RED,、e、which became、e、Zebra. Zebra. <laughs> the lineage is unbroken. If you. Yep. That is the type of the chair that just got thrown in the ring. That was the type of attitude that Shingo was bringing <laughs> that's the, that's the around、style. this time.、Yep. If, you have wa if you watched some of our previous English entries into this series, you would have seen the Mad Blanky versus Jimmy's Unit、oh. Disbands match from、mm. August of 2015. And it was on that same show where Shingo won the Dream Gate Championship that he's holding here. He left 
the unit that he was a part of called Monster Express. Oh. Um, well, he got, uh, he got kicked uh, out by Akira oh, Tozawa. Really? Oh. And he, along with the remnants of Mad Blanky, Naruki Doi, Yamato. Uh, who else in there? Prob problem Dragon. Very ah, problem Dragon. Very briefly punched Tomonaga, oh. al along with some remnants of the Millennials, Eita and Kotoka. Eita got kicked out the day the unit officially got oh. their name. But this was about a month into their run okay. exact as Berserk. So again, I was, I was at this show. Yep. And this was November 1st, the night before there was a Halloween fan party. Mm. And I was hanging out with, with some fans the next day. And um, before we went to the show, they were like, we've got to go to the temple. Temple. The temple. For, for. I, I said, I said, why? I, 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 it's a sun, it was a Sunday. I thought maybe okay. it's something. And they're like, no, we have to go pray for victory. Oh. <laughs> so we got there and they prayed for victory and they were praying for Mochizuki. It. But they made another prayer, which was for Doi and Yamato to defend the Open the Twin Gate Championships oh. earlier, which ah. shows the level of you know the what can I say in terms of favoritism within Berserk. <laughs> you know, Doi and Yamato and Mad Blanky were actually for a, a villain group were very popular, whereas yeah, yeah, yeah. you know Sh Shingo was a good guy for the majority of the last few years, but was not generally not popular among fans uh, really? because he reminds, you know, we have a lot of young, you know, younger female fans here in Dragon yes, Gate, and no. he reminds people of their obnoxious father, very, you know, strict, no dating, no. in by nine, <laughs> that sort of thing. Oh. That's how it was described to me that, you know, a lot of respect for Shingo as a wrestler, but fans yes. just couldn't get behind him. And this was, Shingo in his pure form, he embraced it, stopped trying to be a good guy, put together Berserk, and at this point in time, he was on a mission to exterminate the veteran generation. About a m the previous month in October, he had wrestled Don Fuji oh. in a Dream Gate Championship match, defeated Don Fuji Wait, where is it? Is it in Hakata is Star Lanes, oh. a venue that unfortunately no longer exists. Oh. And then... It was essentially law of the jungle, you know, eat or get eaten. And he had, if you look at Don Fuji and you look at Masaki Mochizuki, you, ought, you assume that Don Fuji is the older of the two. Yeah. So he had, he started with Don Fuji because he wanted to get rid of the oldest one. Mm. But then he realized, no, actually there is an older and crappier old man oh. here, Masaki Mochizuki. So Masaki Mochizuki at, that, at, at this time was a part of a unit called Dia Hearts. Dia Hearts? Oh! BB uh, yeah, Hulk it, himself, KZ, KZ uh, Flamita. Oh. So this match actually officially came about a few weeks earlier. BB Hulk had an injured shoulder. Oh! From the... from what match? Well, from actually, the, from before, but it had finally uh, deteriorated, uh, and Shingo finished him off. <laughs> with a bunch of with a bunch of chair attacks, wow. and it came. Mochizuki said, "Look, you know the match is over. Why are you doing this? That's not how a champion acts." And if Shingo was going to reject the veterans in the history of Dragon Gate, yeah. Mochizuki took that as a personal rejection of himself. Okay. Oh. So he wasn't just doing it for the veteran generation. He wasn't just doing it for himself. He was doing it for, for BB Hulk. Hulk. <laughs> yeah. So this was the. What, Shingo said, what could a 46-year-old piece of garbage possibly do against me? At that time, he he's, he was 46? 46. Oh, well, he looked shaped, though. What's his name? So we are, about to, we are about to find out what a 46-year-old piece of junk <laughs> could do against Shingo Takagi. Whoa. This was... The second time these two fought over the Dreamgate Championship. So, the Bears Tale, they were holding all the title, right? At this I point, see. yes. I'm glad yeah. you brought that up because this night had been a s clean sweep for, Z for Zerk up until this Ooh. point. Kotoka yeah, I won, saw won, won the Open the Brave Gate Championship earlier in the night. Oh. I hit the ropes on the way down. Uh, and also, and I think Doi and... 
Yamato is a 3 Doi, champion. Doi and Yamato were in the middle of their re reign as the longest reigning Open the Twin Gate oh, champions. Yeah, this oh. was midway through. Kotoka had won the Brave Gate championship earlier in the night. Mm. So at this point, you know, Berserk had been running roughshod over everyone. When, Koto when Kotoka won, no one was happy. When Doi, <laughs> when Doi and Yamato won, the, pla the, place went, the place went nuts. <laughs> There was actually um, a house show in uh, Yokohama Radiant Hall, mm. which which I believe we were just uh, at two days ago <laughs> at the time of recording. Sunday, right? Uh, no, uh, uh, Tuesday. But yeah, the, main, the main event was a, a six-man tag. Takagi, Doi, and Yamato, I don't remember who they were facing. Hi. I just remember the Berserk music came on, Doi and yeah. Yamato came through first. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> crowd went nuts. Takagi follows behind them. Dead silence. <laughs> but that's how he wanted it. At this point, it was all about strength. It was all about establishing himself. Okay. Oh. Dragon scoop. Doi had the... Big match, silver hair. Silver hair. Well, they had they, they had Tanazaki with Naoki Tanazaki was also with them at this point. Uh, this, <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you wrestle Masaki Mochizuki, this is yep. the idea. Yeah, because uh, and you make the legs got damage. So, but, you know, you're never going to take them away. <laughs> but, right. it, but, yeah, but if you can <laughs> do some sort of damage, if you can weaken them. Oh, here's that. Oh. Tenryu style elbow from yep. Shingo. Shingo is certainly a rare breed in Dragon Gate. And that, you know, he was. You watch him, and he was pr really the least Dragon Gate esque wrestler. That you, you know, Dragon Gate was known uh, for high flying. Yeah. And, oh, right. You know, Dragon Kid, and you know those types of wrestlers. And yeah. he came in, and he's just a bully, a power fighter. Power fighter. <laughs> that, you know, he but was very much. He's just too big. He, I think. <laughs> he, you know, he came up on you know Onita. Oh, That's uh, Onita. Yeah, yeah. He was super into that. And New Japan, you know, the New Japan yep. 90 style, the heavyweight style. But he came up at a time that the, his height made it difficult for him to join. Uh, and, right, you know, yeah. At the time we were recording this, someone like him, someone his size could join anywhere. Yeah, but, right, you know, right now, at, at this in, time. In 2023, right. yeah. but in 2004 when he joined the final Torimon Japan class, yep. it was the only place he could go. Uh. And he didn't compromise. He didn't change his style at all. He, he was told by some of the people in power at the time that if his style became normal in Dragon Gate, it would be the end of the company. But here at the time we're recording this, we've got people like Kikuta, Ka right, Kato, yeah, yeah. Yoshiki Kato, Big Boss Shimizu, you know, these power, oh, power, power, power wrestlers yeah. that were inspired to come to Dragon Gate from Shingo. Apron kick. Oh! And Topin Masaki! Oh. 46 years old. So we are we're at the 10 minute mark of this match. So they had, let's see, it was Flamita, Shimizu, KZ, Dragon Kid. Dragon Kid. Hulk had gone for surgery at this uh. point, so he was not he wasn't here. He had, again, keeping a modern reference point, the shoulder surgery that Strong Machine J, right. Madoka, it's, it's, that Madoka Kikura had. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that keeps, that keeps you out for yeah. a year. <laughs> Where, you know, when the, the shoulder pops so much. Yeah, I know. That you have to, you have to get the bolt to lock it into place. Right, yeah, you have to get back in, so. Free for this match was Mr. Nakagawa. We when still do long hair. Though. When he when he when he was doing his Yamato cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Nakagawa wanted to be a wrestler. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think yeah, that yeah. A, a lot of fans always assume that this was him getting ready for a mini Yamato. Mini Yamato. <laughs> Yamasito or something. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that what, what the people say? Pumping oh. bomber and Mochi oh. catches him on the other side. Back. Oh! <laughs> Kick from behind. Now that I think about it, I, I haven't seen this match since I watched it live. Where did you see it though? I was, I mean, when Mochizuki did the quebrada, so here on the hard cam side, yeah, um. I was about four rows back. Oh! And again, the mood in the building it was, you know, there's, uh, from an international standpoint, I know a lot of people watch Dragon Gate because they want to watch good matches. Hmm. But nobody was in this building to see a good match. <laughs> people were here to see Mochizuki kick Shingo's ass. <laughs> From here. Oh. Another axe kick this time on the chin. Oh. Uh. This guy be hurt. Ah. <laughs> ah. This was 2015, would have been year 21 in wrestling for Mochizuki. We're heading, 21. We're heading, in, we're heading wow. into year 30. <laughs> uh, in, two, in, two, in 2004. 2004. Brain buster there. In 2004, his 10 year, his 10 year anniversary year, yep. he won the Dream Gate for the first time at the end of the year. And he said, this is probably going to be the first and last time I challenge for a uh, this championship. <laughs> yeah, you said that in, uh, before, right? I heard that before. And at the time going into this match, he had already won the championship one more time. <laughs> oh, is this the second time? Or? He had been. He was a two-time champion coming oh. in at this point. Shingo was a three-time champion. Oh. This would be the second time they fought oh. over the Dreamgate Championship. The first time was in 2005. When Mochizuki was champion and just a drop oh, kick. Okay, but oh. no effect. Oh. Runs him over, pumping bomber. Yeah. 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 Wow. Show the taco. So we got to get up first. Yeah. This is one of those matches where you don't win until the other guy really can't get back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Cyber Kong also there. That's right. Really? Cyber Cyber Kong was still <laughs> Cyber Kong was still in Berserk at this point too. Oh. Going going for Made in Japan. Go for a power bomb. Yeah. 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 Damage. They both got damage at this point, so. Oh. Oh. Those are the those are the types of moments of the match where yeah. you just like to let the sound tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> Blood oh. fall lands on his oh. feet though. Bloodfall is named after my hometown. 
Oh, really? Yes. Is it like uh, no, right now? Is, uh, Kato is a finish move. Is it? Yes, because Kato at Final Gate 2022, he was doing young boy duty for yeah. uh, the match where Shingo came and teamed with oh. BB Hulk, and it, he was inspired by that. <laughs> That's why the name called Basho. He was well when the move was created. He was a part of a unit called okay. Blood Generation. Oh. And he came to my hometown, which has Niagara Falls in it. Oh. And he was inspired by the waterfall yeah. and the way the opponent yeah. oh. falls. So he became the blood fall. I don't think he uses it currently in New Japan. Oh, is that the pumping bomb? Oh, <laughs> to the corner. Mochi was oh. like halfway out. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, oh, he's got, he's got go. him. Oh, can he hit it? He's ma oh. Made in Japan. Oh, oh he kicks out. He kicks out. Oh. <laughs> skip, the, skip the wrist clutch this time. <laughs> Just oh. drop, drop him on his head instead. He kicks out though. Everyone's cheating. What is key though? Yeah, there was no no split fan Ooh. response. And what was that? Oh, more of the the, ten, the Tenryu influence. out of the seated position first. Oh. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> so we've gone from a superplex on one side. Powerbomb oh. fails too, but the kick to <laughs> high kick. Kick to the head always effective. <laughs> Chance. What you gotta do right now? Oh! oh. Back illusion kick, pumping bomber at short range, psycho high, high kick. kick. Oh! Oh! Okay. Axe, Axe kick. kick, and this one, first oh. flash. Oh, flash. That was for Hulk. Almost. At this point, the person next to me was in tears. Oh, really? <laughs> because the first round? That would have been the perfect. I mean, yeah, if yeah, he had won the championship yeah, yeah. with that. Yeah. A move that BB Hulk created because it was fun kicking Shingo ah. in the face. <laughs> he was practicing it one day in the dojo, oh. and he was picturing Shingo's face while he was practicing <laughs> <Really>? it. <laughs> and he thought. I would love to hit him in his big stupid face with this kick. <laughs> and that's how the first flash was born. Oh. oh. And that's the thing about Shingo is he can, <laughs> the right arm is the money arm, but he can pumping bomber you with the left one too. <laughs> Kick. Oh, back elbow. Oh. 
Good uh, punch and elbow. Ah, uh, high kick. Psycho high kick, another nice kick. kick. Shin, psycho oh. high kick clocks him. Go, 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 cover, cover. Right in front of Berserk. Ah. Almost. Nobody kicks out. <laughs> one more time, one more time. One of the first people to actually yeah. kick out of that at that point. The Shin Saikyo high kick. Is it gonna go for the corner kick? You know, the I don't know the name though, but it's a <laughs> ah. That was what he was going for uh, though. Yeah. Ah. Headbutt. Oh. Yes. Double chop runs into a super kick. Now here oh. comes Sankaku kick. To the oh. face and he caught No, ah. he didn't. Ah. Yes. Sliding PB. Wow. Yoko down there doing young boy duty. Oh, really? <laughs> it's always the fun oh. part of watching these matches is looking on the floor yeah, and seeing faces you remember. <laughs> and, yeah, and who's there? Like after that, you watch it. You look at now. It's like there he is, right there. Oh, sitting <laughs> next to the cameraman. <laughs> Way different. I'm taking him up. Oh, go to there. this body bomb. Is it? This, he, he calls this stay dream. Ah. Oh, but Mochizuki not up. not gonna stay down. He stand up right after it. Pumping bomber again with stands. Ah. Oh, out of the corner. Not gonna oh. stay down though. <laughs> Bomber, Ooh, one count. One kick out. One kick out. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Another oh, pumping bomber. Ah. Uh, he's going to keep this kick out. the wrist mochi with the knees though Ooh. and this is it's oh. it was called last falconry at that time gets ah. the win for shingo wow what do you think jason it's very exciting yeah. i think <laughs> wow all right fans we hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and be sure to tune in from for mochizuki's 30th anniversary on january 10th yeah Hope you uh, enjoyed that match. Um, so, for next in the series, after this match happened, Shingo would hold the championship for basically until Kobe World of the following year, aside from two weeks span when he traded the belt with Susumu. And whereas Mochizuki, even though he was, was unable to win this match, he would still go on to become Dream Day champion one more time. But all of that is a story for another time. Hope you enjoyed the match. See you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe at DragonGate.live. Dragon Gate Red Talk!